Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Eileen. Today, Lacey from Tony and Beverly, and this color is Caramel Kiss. I'm going to show it to you in some different lighting. I think it's such a beautiful color. The highlighting is gorgeous on this shade. But first, this wig was provided to me for review from wigstudio1.com. If you'll go to the drop-down box below this video, just expand the drop-down box, I will provide a link to this wig where you can purchase it, the information you need to know there. If you have any questions for us, please don't hesitate to reach out to Wig Studio One. You can reach them in a couple, couple of different ways. You can email them at support at wigstudio1.com or you can live chat with a personal hair consultant during normal business hours via the wigstudio1.com website. So there's a couple ways to reach them like that. Also, if you haven't already, join us in our private Facebook group, Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. So we have like 24,000 people now. It's amazing. Once a month we have Sell It Sunday where you can sell your gently used wigs. We have live broadcast. We have photos of wigs, conversations about wigs. It really is a wonderful place if you're looking for some encouragement and support in your hair loss journey. So be sure to join us there in our private Facebook group. Let's take a look at Lacey from Tony and Beverly. Now, first of all, let's talk about the color. Caramel Kiss. Now, Tony and Beverly describes this as a brown base. It definitely has a brown base. And chunky gold and red highlights. Now, I think that's what I like the most about this color are these chunky highlights. I tend to like that. I think that they're really dynamic. It makes it stand out. I like the flippy ends on the back of this wig. I think those are always so fun. Just a cute, short, it's kind of like a grown-out pixie. Synthetic fibers, tons of layers here. Now this has a non-extended lace front and a mono part, a mono top. I'm going to show you that when I take it off. I do want to call one thing to your attention. I'm always honest with you about these wigs. I did not find that this, this lace front lies flat. Now I want to show you. You might, if this is, now, is this a deal breaker for you? I don't know. Oh, you'll, only, you'll be the only one that knows that. I, however, would probably never wear this off my face because I like the way this bang sweeps, sweeps across. I like wigs that do that. I like to just wear it like that. I'll just sweep it across my face. However, with a lace front, you, uh, it's nice to have that option if you wanted to pull it off your face. Again, I did not find that this fits tight there. You might need a little piece of tape or you could use some It Stays and glue that down, but that is totally up to you. I just want to make you aware of it. Again, lots of layers here. Mono top, so there it runs to right here. So you have the parting options here, but there is some permatease that runs around that mono part. want to make you aware of that. I like Tony and Beverly fibers. I always talk about that. I think they're feathery, wispy, really beautiful fibers. You can wear this all going forward or you can put it behind your ear really easily on both sides, one side. And again, I kind of like this sweeping bang on this wig, but I love this color. Now the specs, the bang is three and a half inches. The crown on this one is five. The sides are three to three and a quarter. The nape is 2.75. It only weighs 1.87 ounces. It's super lightweight. Again, I like the nape on this. I like the flippy layers on this. If you have hair that grows down a little bit with this 2.75 inch nape, I believe this will cover that, which is always nice if that's a concern for you. Again, there is some permatease running. I can feel it running all through here, but not on this mono top. So let me just show you the inside of the cap on this one. Again, it's temple to temple lace front and mono top. Large large mono top there, so you can part anywhere within there. It's open wefted, closed ear taps with stays, extended felt nape with Velcro adjusters. I will tell you this fit me a little large. I have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference and I did take it in on both sides. So I just like to let you know that. 
Now, as far as styling, I think this doesn't need a lot of styling. Like I said, I like that I can just run my hands through here. Now, you could spray this with some water. I have just some plain water here. And if you want to separate the fibers, which I do, you could just run a little water through it, run your hands through it. You know, I always like to get my hands in these wigs to show you that they're not highly styled. I put this on, I got my hands all in it. I'm showing you that you can do the same and get the same look. Now, like I said, there's some permatease, so you could get this pretty big if you wanted to on the sides, but, or you can sleek it down more as well. That is important to you. I found there is a little extra room in the crown of this wig. Again, I have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference. But I like my wigs messy, so I'm going to mess it up. I'm going to pull it over to the side, and I'm going to like it just like that. Thank you for stopping by today and having a look at this wig from Tony Beverly. Again, don't forget to go to the drop down box below this video for a link to this wig, information about this wig, everything you need to know. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.